Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Dreamstruck. Um, we are all on fire um, because we are coming back from Sensi Family Reunion, Salt Lake City, Utah owes us nothing. Um, for many of us, it was our first time ever visiting Utah and it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, we're excited to be here on Dreamstruck. Uh, we did have a bye week last week to give everyone the opportunity to travel um, and get prepared for a Sensi Family Reunion, either in person or virtual. Um, and we're gonna um, make a couple of changes starting tonight. Um, Carol, would you mind discussing our major change that begins tonight? Yeah, about the 30 minute thing, right? There, yes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, do I know what we're talking about? Yes, I do. Okay, so we are, we are going to try to shorten Dreamstruck because um, we know that if we can be more efficient and in a shorter amount of time, probably more people will hop on because we know now that the world is open back up, life is busy, people are doing things, you're out doing stuff, you're not sitting at home waiting for us to go live every Tuesday night at six o'clock so, or seven o'clock. <laughs> and so um, we want to be very efficient and, and good with your time. So we really want to see if we can shorten this down to 30 minutes. We may or may not go over occasionally, especially if there's a lot of stuff to talk about. But we really want to we want to talk fast, make it short. Plus, when people watch the replay, chances are they'll watch a 30 minute replay versus an hour long replay. So although I do watch it on like one and a half so I can get through things, you know, a little quicker. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so that's one of the major changes that we would like to do. So if you guys think that's a great idea, give us a thumbs up if you're live um, and uh, or put a hand up or whatever if you're can't we can't see you guys but okay good oh there is a thumbs up okay good <laughs> i'm like hey there is a thumbs up emoji good um or put it in the chat if you agree so um we just want to be very mindful of your time be respectful we want to get you great information um and we don't want to we just don't want to we just want to get more people to join um so that we are being super efficient Absolutely. And then if we ever have like a special guest, you know, like we've had Dan on, we've had Heidi and Orville, and it warrants an hour, then we'll let y'all know, you know, ahead of time so you can plan accordingly. So I'm really excited about this. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and kick into tonight's topic, which is Sensi Family Reunion Highlights. Um, anyone can um, uh, chime in, but I wanted to kind of go around to the panelists. Um, and what we're what was one of your most favorite highlights of this past Sensi family reunion? I mean, okay. oh, go ahead, Amber. And me. Okay. So, um, I, don't, I mean, there were so many, but as soon as you said that, the first one that jumped out at me was um, John Androzik's uh, talk. It was almost like motivation and a show. And for me, I'm all about the music. So, you know, we, we found out we weren't going to be having the whole, sometimes there's a concert, sometimes there's a game. Um, like we've had the baseball games in the past. So I was a little bit like, oh man, you know, I was excited for the talks, but I didn't know who the people were. So I was kind of like, well, I'll make the most of it. But when he came out and he started playing Superman, I was like, oh my goodness, motivation and a concert. Like, and it felt special because it was just him on a piano or him on a guitar. And I just, I loved it. It kept me engaged the entire time. So I felt like I was picking up more than just um, listening to a good song. All of it was wrapped up in his storytelling and it was just, it was so good. I loved it. Okay, so perfect timing because my favorite was Amy Purdy. I am a huge Dancing with the Stars fan, like so big to the point where we flew to Hollywood in 07 to watch a live taping of the show um, because I'm just such a big fan. So when I saw her bio in our book, I did not put two and two together. But as soon as she took the stage and started speaking, I texted my granny because we watched it together. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. And everything she said was just of course, absolutely inspiring. But my favorite quote was um, something, I'm going to butcher it, but you are allowed to give up, but not on a bad day. That's everything. I, I think that that will take us through so many lows in business and in life. So true. I loved her as well. I love the part where she was like, I'm a, uh, I did saw my toes off to fit in a pair of shoes. And I was like, oh my God, those prosthetics are not cheap. I know. I was thinking, wow, she must have a lot of money. 
was, but yes, uh, you can't, you can't quit on a bad day was her quote. And, and it's so true. Like when we get going and Sensi, that was, I love the guest speakers. I loved getting to hug everyone again. And I cried so much the last day, I think, because it was coming to an end. And I was like, we're not going to see each other for another year. Um, but the shining star was an incredible. Sarah Speechley and I have been friends for years because uh, I pretty much started right after she did. And um, I think her numbers just before mine. And so I've known her for years. I knew her prior to her um, being in the wheelchair. And, um, and so we, we did an Alaska cruise together and played cards in the dining room, like all night long. We played some kind of fast paced game. I learned, I honestly, I can't remember what it was called, but we, um, we've just had some really great times together. So to see her earn the shining star award was fantastic. And um, just icing on the cake for a really great, um, a really great reunion. So I really hope that all of you guys will start saving now to, to attend next year, because we, there is magic that happens at convention. Then we can try telling you guys that these things, but it is impossible. You have to be there to feel it. We can tell you there's this incredible energy and you're going to have confetti in all of your bags, in your bra, in your hair. Um, but, you know, until you're actually there to experience it, you, you just don't know what it's like. And um, so great. I just, and people are, who are on here, like, oh my gosh, so true. Yes, it's the best because <laughs> they're, they're, they know, right? They have drank the Kool-Aid and they are here. Um, but I just, I really, we're going to talk about that some more, but keep going. Somebody else go. Sorry. I'm, I'm um, I love, I love everything about it. I'm sorry. Dorothy, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, um, I love everything. Oh my goodness. Amy. And I'm so terrible with names and John, I remember their names. Uh, of course the flesh and lights and the most, the thing that really stood out to me the most are my new team members who experienced SFR for the first time to see them jump up in chairs to see them all up there with the fitness marshal all up in all on the, the YouTube whatever he put that stuff I think on Instagram to see their faces glow that was everything to me and I told them I said guys share everything on Facebook to get everybody excited so they'll want to come the next time and it's it worked I that stood out to me more than anything uh, of course um I didn't even realize, and this is something different. I didn't realize so many people were enjoying these basic videos that I put out there on YouTube. I have so many selfies with people that I didn't know and people giving away gifts, people giving gifts away to you that you don't know. They're just handing out gifts. That is like everything to me. So yeah, I loved it all. I mean, the, the announcements of the incentive trip, the location of the next SFR, all the things. <laughs> And just the hugging and getting back together again was just special. Exactly. That, that is what I was going to say is just seeing and being around everyone. When I walked in the convention center for the first time, you know, I've been going to every, every SFR since 2015. And it just, I was just, I didn't realize how much I had missed it until I walked in and seen everyone. And it was just, Look at me, I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> um, it just made me like completely emotional and to share it with new friends and new team members this time, that just made it even more special. So I'm a sympathetic sorry, I'm crier. also losing my voice. So sorry about that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a sympathetic crier. I'm gonna start crying now because you're crying. Oh my god. Sorry. Uh, I'll go. I think mine was, and this might be something you might have noticed or you might not have noticed, but in your book, the breakouts did not have the speakers' names. And I loved that because that gave the people who aren't like sensey famous, so to say, everybody would usually flock to their room if they knew their name. And this time that didn't happen because you didn't know who was teaching or coaching what. You went to what you needed. And whoever was there is who was going to be your mentor or your coach for that session. And I think it was super, super cool because I never knew who I was going to get. Me and Fred totally split up. He went one way. I went one way. And we got so much more information in. But it might have been somebody because I didn't know who they were that I might 
not have went, you know what I mean? So that was probably my favorite thing. I think it was genius. Whoever was in charge of that, like you just show up and you got to learn from somebody new because you didn't know. That was Love Sarah, that. Walker. Sarah Walker was in charge of that. <laughs> Okay, I have to take you guys to a video to show you what one of my favorite moments was. So give me just one second and I'm going to show, share my screen here. We're going to start the broadcast. All right, let me go here. So I just wanted to um, share that <laughs> I probably embarrassed Michelle, but just looking around the room, like Dorothy said, and seeing people, consultants that were there for the very first time, seeing new directors, you know, um, walking the stage, um, you know, all of us celebrating um, our accomplishments, um, seeing people network and um, make new friends. You know, I don't think any of us went there and left without knowing someone new. It was just really, really epic. Um, and I just, you know, when you're a leader, whether you're a director, lead, whatever, you just feel like a mama bear. Like you just get so excited when you see your team members happy. And, um, and, 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 and beyond that, you know, we've learned a lot. So we can't leave out the gifts, you guys. All right. We all like gifts. And as um, someone mentioned before, we got freebies. And so I think we would be remiss if we didn't talk about that. But what I loved that Sensi did is they would, you know, have someone on the big screen talking and you didn't even see the gifts, you know, anything leading up to the free gifts. All of a sudden it was like an Oprah moment where it's like, you get a Winnie the Pooh, you get a Winnie the Pooh. And in here, we actually have pods, you know, the hundred acre wood, woods. And I love that we can actually share this ahead of time and market them and take authentic pictures. Now, one of my team members, Leo, had the grand idea of getting um, our bricks um, autographed by Dan. Dan was so embarrassed, <laughs> but he was like, if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. But I just feel so, you know, <laughs> embarrassed. And we we're like, Dan, you're the man. Um, also, we weren't expecting to get some of the scents of the, oh man, I forgot about this. Um, the vanilla bean buttercream collection. You know, we just, we were just acting like we were five years old all over again. And that's what I love about Sensi Family Reunion is the childlike wonder. We also each received um, the travel twist. I believe that these are taking the place of those travel tins. And we were just ecstatic about that. And that's not all. We um, also received the scent testers for the fall winter. I'm already circulating these with my customers. Um, they're sniffing, they're smelling, they're getting ready for um, the next season ahead of time. And they like it because they see that I'm invested in my business and um, I'm one of the, we're all you know, great consultants, right? <laughs> but anyway, they're ecstatic. And then we also received um, the catalog for the fall winter. So when you're seeing some of the things circulating like scent bars that are leaving, um, it's because we were able to find out ahead of time. What I also love is that it didn't stop with us, with the virtual attendees. Does, can anyone say what the virtual attendees received? Because I think we, they received them today. Can someone unmute themselves if you were a virtual attendee and tell us what you may have received in the mail today or yesterday? I can, Teresa. Yay, thank you. Um, I gotta pull it up really quick, but so I don't mess it up. Um, we did get a laundry, um, the laundry liquid in, let's see, laundry liquid in fluffy fleece, um, fluffy fleece washer whiffs, the small, um, vanilla mint counter clean. And then we got three bars. We got black currant and plum, uh, velvet moon and perfect day bar. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And you know what I loved is that the people that were in person, we didn't get any of that. And that's really amazing, you know, products to get ahead of time and to be able to share. So I thought that that was awesome that Sensi surprised us with that. I've never seen them do that for the virtual attendees. So that is 
Um, great. So thank you again for sharing. Um, not to mention that some of our friends, Kelly gave a lot of people pickles. Um, Nina, you know, one of our directors gave us gifts. Everyone's like giving gifts. Um, there's pin swaps. It's just amazing. But away from all of that, uh, Carol mentioned about um, SFR 2023. Carol, do you mind sharing where we're going and why is it so important um, when people look at the price tag and the investment, why is it so important to start now planning and definitely making the effort to attend? Absolutely. We are going to Charlotte, North Carolina. So for a lot of you guys, woo, driving distance, I got to fly across the country, but it's fine. I'll do it. Uh, but <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, so the key to start saving now, we have 300, what did Amber post? 300 and how many days? 360 eight days. I don't yeah, know. Sunday, it was 396. And I was like, yeah. too soon. <laughs> okay. So we're a few days after that. So 94, so we're like 390 days guys. So one of the things that my friends and I have come up with, um, in another one was we talked about saving $12 a week to make it so simple for you guys. $12 a week will get you plenty of money to register, to have pay for flights or drive or um, a hotel room, have money to spend in the store. Um, $12 a week is what you need to save. So how do we make $12 a week? Um, if we sell a six pack, we make, well, if you get 30%, you make $9. Um, so if you get 25%, whatever, help me out people who are good at math. Um, how do we make, so it's uh, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. <laughs> okay, I got it, it's 12.50, I got it, it's $50. We gotta sell $50 a week in Sensi in order to get 12.50 a week to put away, okay? So that's our goal. We have to sell $50 a week in Sensi and put that commission away. And you can take, clamshells and put quarters in there. And one clamshell will hold 18 to $20 in quarters. So if you want to start working on filling clamshells with your extra money, if you're not good at saving money, give it to somebody who is. Okay. So I know that some people are like, oh, I save, but then I got, you know, emergency comes up. I want to say, which I did tell a lot of people, the best investment you can make is in yourself, in yourself. So you guys can think, oh, I need to buy more product. You need to invest in yourself. You need to go and have the trainings. It's not necessarily about the free product and all the other things. It's about the training. It's about the knowledge, about the friendships that you're going to make from here on out that are going to take you to that next level. And I will say every single person that attends convention is always on their way to director or higher. You will statistically sell 400% more in the fall when you attend an event, when you attend a convention. So there, we're just not saying this because we want you to spend $1,000 you know, to go to convention. We want you to show up so that you connect and you have super fun. Everyone who's just attended conventions on fire right now, they're ready, they're excited, they've been energized, they want to continue to grow. And so Find people that you can road trip with, find people that you can rent, you know, share a room or get an Airbnb. Um, just say to yourself now, I will never miss another convention ever again. And I call it reunion, whatever. We used to call it convention, but I will never miss another event again. And then you figure out how to get there. Cause when you really want something, you can make it happen. And so just save, put that money aside so that as soon as registration open, you can hop on there and, and pay the registration because you have this money set aside to, for your self-improvement. Think of it as a self-improvement savings account. Love that. And if you will never miss another convention live again, I want you to put a heart in the chat. I think there's power in affirming that. I missed my first convention and I was so having FOMO because everybody got that Elvis Buddy, I'm not an Elvis fan. I don't hate him, but I wanted it because everyone else had it and I didn't. 
So <laughs> I've never missed another um, convention since then. And listen, when Carol says a thousand dollars, there's so many other loopholes. You know, um, I told y'all about when I went to Kansas City and really couldn't afford to go and realized I couldn't afford not to go. Um, and I drove with um, several other team members and we split the gas. Um, there's Airbnbs and it might be that you, you know, room with people that you're meeting, you know, online that are consultants. Um, but there's so many ways to cut costs. Um, Sarah Speechley actually invited me to a retreat in Orlando and she asked me to speak and I did tell them about that time in Kansas City where I lost my job, my husband lost his career and I kept telling myself I can't afford to go, I don't have this type of money to spend but then I heard a voice say, Teresa, you can't afford not to go and that's when I promoted, that's when my income changed, that's when I didn't even have to find another nine to five to fulfill the other one because Sensi did it. And you guys, I'm gonna try to say this without crying, but the first night that I went was in Salt Lake City. I saw two ladies there at the, um, in the convention hall. And I was like, oh my gosh, what are you guys doing here? You know, and they hugged me and we took pictures. And I was like, how'd you get here? And they, you know, did you get in yesterday? And they're like, actually we drove 30 hours. We heard what you said. We could not afford to come here. Um, we did not have the money to fly but we drove 30 hours because we heard what you said and we realized that we could not afford not to be here. So my husband came and helped dr drive. You know, we picked up so-and-so, you know, in Pennsylvania or whatever, but they drove from the East Coast all the way to Utah. I got mad respect for that. So, um, all right. So Emily, uh, can you tell us uh, what are the next incentive trips that were announced? Oh my goodness. You picked this question just for me. Okay, so you have a, a choice of four different trips. I don't have the dates that they're happening right in front of me, but I don't think that matters right at this very moment. But you can pick four places. And as I say them, whatever one is the one you want, comment, uh, put it in the comments because I want to see. I'm sure we all do. Okay, so the first one is Quebec City, Canada, Los Cabos, Mexico, uh, a seven night cruise to the Caribbean on the wonder of the seas um, from Royal Caribbean is now officially the largest cruise ship in the world. It's going to be sailing from Port Canaveral in Florida, uh, and it's going to take us to uh, the Bahamas, which also includes a day at perfect. Uh, you're going to have a perfect day at Coco Cay um Jamaica and Haiti so that encompasses that trip and then the last one is um uh don't tell me don't tell me New York City New York City so of course you can also if you earn the trip in addition to those four you can also choose to have your uh re entire reunion trip paid for that means flight hotel registration costs. And I think they even might even give you a bit of allowance for food. So uh, keep that in mind as, a, as another option as well. So uh, I am extremely excited. I know what I want, but I don't want to, I don't want to say, okay, we got a few people sharing. Okay. I want the cruise too. I haven't been to any of those places uh, with the exception of, you know, uh, Florida, but um, I definitely, I want to go places I've never been. When we found out, when they announced that Quebec City was one of the options, you should have seen the look on my team members' faces. They looked at me and laughed so hard because I was like, Quebec City. But for me, that's like a four hour drive. And I've been to Quebec City as a kid. Montreal is only three hours away. I'm like, my husband, I told him, and he's like, I'd rather go to my backyard. I'd rather go to the neighbor's backyard. I'd rather go to the park downtown before I go to Quebec City. But please don't let that, um, don't let our or his feelings throw you off. It's a beautiful place, completely historical. It's just, you know, we want to go where we haven't been. So um, either way it's all well, I've never been to Quebec City and it is literally the one of the top two on my list to go there because I've never been there I mean yeah. and I want to see if I can still remember how to speak French because uh I, I I mean I think I know a little bit but <laughs> better upgrade your Duolingo account guys <laughs> so I, I, I love that <laughs> I love that. I've never been to Canada either. And this is really tough. I just love that since he gave us options. Now, what do we want to do? We've got about five, six minutes left on the table to try to introduce this new time frame for Dreamstruck. And um, I would like to ask Amber, if you could see someone in the participants list that you know, whether it's on your team or not attended SFR, and we would like to hear from you in a minute or less, 
how are you going to take the tools um, that were provided to you at SFR and now implement it into your business? So Amber, if you can find someone in the participants list, ask them if they wouldn't mind humbly unmuting themselves in under oh, a minute to share with us. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, is Michelle still on? Michelle Slover? I'm scrolling through right now to see if she is because I know she was eating it up. She uh, better. She better. I met her. <laughs> yeah, you did. I see I'm her. Here. Okay, Michelle Slover, can you ask yourself and tell us something that you're actually going to put into a uh, place? Okay, I think I unmuted myself. Can you yeah, hear you me? Did. Okay. So this was my first SFR in person and I absolutely loved it. I'm so glad it was only 30, uh, 600 or whatever it was people, because I don't know that I could handle more right now. Um, but the thing that stood out for me was the, um, when we did the workshops, um, at the end where we had the workshops one and two and three or whatever it was, um, I don't have my notes in front of me, but it was the action plan and creating that. And I really learned that I need to simplify my systems and get better at follow-ups and stuff like that. And so I feel motivated to get that stuff done. And I already feel like I'm good at the, um, like clicking with my customers um, and sending happy mail and stuff. Like, for example, there was a girl that I went to school with who passed away like two weeks ago, well, maybe a month ago because of cancer. Um, and I sent her mom the angel wings warmer and said she flies with her own wings. Um, so it's really just taking the basic steps plus my customer service and implementing all of that. Love that. Michelle. Thank you for sharing that. And, you know, SFR, we've talked about all the excitement and, you know, and the emotions, but if you leave SFR and you're not sponsoring or you're not doing something different, they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting change. We go to SFR to refill our cups and hopefully to find some new information. Um, so we're always evolving. All right, seven, we got a few more minutes. And Dorothy, do you see someone on your team that may have been um, at SFR that wouldn't mind unmuting themselves? And in less than a minute, share something that they're going to be implementing in their business. Yes. Is Ethel still on? Ethel? I know she was on a second ago. Um, she might. Um, let's Sorry. See. I'm running. I, I don't think oh. I can talk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you're running. Okay. Um, well, thank you for being here. What about Christy? I know I saw her. Let me, I'm looking. I'm here. Yay! Yeah, hey, girl, you, you have something to share for in one minute? <laughs> um, I would say the authenticity part. I I actually heard a lot of people's stories. Sorry, I'm under the weather, guys. Um, SFR was amazing. Um, I I think I met a lot of people that just shared their hearts and their stories, and it just helped me um, realize that it's not about flyers. It's not about your posts or your VIP page. It's it's about sharing Cincy and sharing your story and um, being a testimony. And then just the idea of family behind it. Um, my family puts the funk and dysfunctional and my Cincy family does not do that. So I'm very, very grateful for the experience, just meeting and loving on all of the people, not only in my own team, but meeting people like Chelsea Otto, I'd never heard of. Finally got to meet Jennifer Anderson. I found her and I kind of, choked her a little bit but poor thing um but there was just some people that I just really had been following and hearing their story and understanding them so I think for me the most important was the authenticity just being that for my own customers as well thank you Christy you're welcome love you <laughs> love that all right guys this has been absolutely amazing I was wondering if we could pull this off because we're all so passionate <laughs> about Sensi and our businesses but we it looks like we've arrived at 7 30. Um, we want to give the rest of this time for you all to obviously rest for the evening get ready for tomorrow we are at the end of the month um, we still have a lot of opportunity with um what else do we have with um the whiff box and all kinds of things so let's end this month strong and um, uh, Debbie, 
would you mind very quickly, very briefly, um, mentioning our next event, which is World Tour and something special that was announced at uh, SFR about world attending World Tour? Absolutely. Okay, guys. I don't know that since he's ever done this before. I don't know. They may have, but anyway, if when you attend World Tour, points will be given for the incentive trip just for your attendance. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. So all year round, we're campaigning for events. Our very next events from corporate is going to be World Tour. It's a lot less expensive. It's a lot closer to home. We want to see everybody there. We want to actually sell out World Tour seats. So if you're a leader, lead and above, um, we want you all to start um, connecting with your team members and sharing the very next event. Make an event on your team page. And then once we have you know, the actual dates, we can change that event. Um, but you can put information in there, start getting people informed about what World Tour is. Um, and you know, just to save a little bit, um, and it's also a tax write-off. Y'all have an amazing night. Thank you to all the panelists that come out every single Tuesday to pour into everyone. Thank you all for uh, showing up tonight. And we will see you next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central right here on Dreamstruck. Have a good night, Bye, everyone. Guys, have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.